What is up, players? It is me, Commissar Bane. And today we're going to look at part one of painting this chaos cultist in an ugly color scheme because he has a sexy gas mask like mine. So stay tuned. All right, kids, let's get started. We're gonna start with Steel Legion Drab. And this is going to go onto the um, overcoat. So I'll kind of start like back here. Work our way to the front. basing my tutorials on for, for this guy Nurgle troops on um, what's it called Cadians maybe these cultists were maybe members of a Cadian force before being subverted. One of the things that's sad is that we're not going to be seeing any kind of Chaos Cultist uh, box kit. At least it's not in the first wave. I was kind of hoping for one with the success of the uh, Dark Vengeance kit. Okay, <clears throat> now that that's done, we're going to take some... Death World Forest. We're gonna paint the trousers. Can you please keep the camera focused, Igor? I'm sorry, Master. This new studio. I'm not accustomed to it yet. We're also going to take that world force and we're going to paint it onto the shoulder pad. Very uh, nerdly, I would say. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Castellan green, which is a little bit darker. We're gonna paint the little uh, bib he's got. So close to Death World Forest though that if you if you only have one or the other, it doesn't really matter what you use, I think. Oh, it's pretty close. We're gonna go back to our Steel Legion Drab as the base coat for the gas mask. And you'll notice that the gas mask is only on the um, 
on the front of this guy's head, it's not on the back. And we'll go a little bit lighter than this, but this is just for a base coat. Now we are going to take whatever black you have, Chaos Black or Abaddon Black, either works. We're going to paint all the belts and the buckles, pouches, as well as the um, little leg holders here at the bottom of the trousers. <laughs> Mike, can you make videos? Maybe. Tell him something, I want to hear you speak. I am. I don't hear you. It's because I'm painting. So you'll notice that I'm talking to my YouTube audience. So you'll notice that the, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, honey. Oh, shut up. You shut up. So you'll notice that Nurgle's colors are lots of browns and greens. I said, you'll notice that Nurgle's colors are lots of browns and greens. That what? Nurgle's colors. You didn't notice? No. He's like the god of plague and decay and decomposition. Oh, them, yeah. Yeah, those guys. She has no idea. She has no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, the guys with the rotting intestines. Yeah, their uniforms are lots of browns, drab, greens. Okay, so here we are. Next we're gonna take a little bit of Balthazar gold. And we're gonna pick this as the base for the trim on the armor piece on the shoulder. Yeah, Castell and Green and Death World Forest are so similar. It really is um, not too important which one you which one you paint as. Or it's, I mean, I won't say not important, but it's just not a big deal if you get the wrong one. I'm also going to paint some details on the gun. And like all models, I didn't mention this at the beginning, or maybe I do. I don't remember. I prime coat my model in um, Dupli Color Spray Primer first. That I use a, a gray primer, so it looks a lot like the color of a model fresh, off, freshly clipped off the sprue. But it's it's not. It's actually, you know. Okay, we're also gonna paint the gold detailing on the symbols of chaos, like this eyeball here. bit of gold treatment. And uh, we'll hold off on the, the gas tank at the back for now. <clears throat> so while that's all drying, you want to get your
should have something that looks a little bit like this now. We're just whipping through this guy. Now we're gonna get our Morn Fang Brown. Paint this as his boots. Kinda like this brown. I might um substitute something else on this guy for him. So let's talk a little bit about Spooky Toberfest. Every year during October, I like to I like to um, pose a painting challenge, kind of like my June painting challenge, army-wide painting challenge for anybody who wanted to participate. And that you um, find something in your closet or in your bits box or in your collection that you bought and forgot all about or that you just recently acquired and you just didn't have the motivation to ever paint it and it's just kind of sitting in the you know, sitting in the... wherever you keep poor spare models to die. And so what you do is you make a pledge at the beginning of the month, because it's only October 4th when I'm filming this, and you say, oh, by the end of October, I will paint this model. And um, so for July, or for June, it was kind of like a whole army thing, it was pretty big. And that was um, a lot for some people, and we also had daily updates, and um, that was quite, I don't want to say difficult, but it was, it was a challenge for most people to keep up with the day-to-day -day, um, filming and uploading. I the flesh. So with Spooky Toberfest, all you do is you make a pledge at the beginning of the month, like right now, and I'll make an actual Spooky Toberfest video to, to send your responses to. But, um, oh, and we're just painting this on all the flesh and all the bandages. And then you say, by the end of the month, I'm going to paint up these models. And for Spooky Toberfest, as the name sounds, because it's the month of Halloween, October, I like to choose things that are, um, you know, creepy or spooky, or things that have a decidedly sinister and evil edge to them. So I think for last year I did a lot of vampire counts. So all you vampire counts players out there, you got to see me do painting tutorials on skeletons, zombies, um, building tutorials and painting tutorials for the zombie dragon or terror geist. I did it as a terror geist. But um, the spirit last year was in uh, the well. The spirit was because girl painting, Alexandra was doing a contest for doing um, painting tutorials or any kind of tutorials, terrain making, conversions, I think anything at the time and I decided to throw my hat in the ring and just churn out as much tutorials as I could and in the, as a side effect of entering all these videos into her contest, I was able to motivate myself to get a whole lot of content out for my own channel and so everybody, you know, everybody's happy. So that's kind of the purpose of it. You make a make a pledge. You post video updates whenever you can, maybe like every week or every couple days. And at the end of the month, hopefully you've met your challenge. Along the way, you get to meet cool people. People will comment on your site. You get traffic to your channel because of everybody that comes to my channel. And yeah, everybody's a winner. So Spooky Toberfest, my pledge, and I'll explain more about it when I do my actual video, is I picked up a copy of Dreadfleet, which for those of you who don't remember it, because it was such a financial bust, was the pirate game that Games Workshop released last year, I believe. And um, the models were great. Everybody thought at the time it was gonna be a new Man of War, which was, Games Workshop's old, um, pi uh, I guess, like, ship-based war game, just like <clears throat> Warhammer, but on a smaller scale and with, I guess, boats. Never really took off, and um, it went the way of the dinosaur. But last year they released Dreadfleet, which had all these awesome plastic 
pirate ship miniatures. And they didn't really sell too well in my area. Not many people played it. I think I might have seen it once or twice at a, a hobby night in my local area, but it never really took off. So it was really easy to find myself a copy of one. And I think I picked it up at Armchair Adventurer for those of you who watched that Armchair Adventurer video. So I picked up myself a copy and that's, that's gonna be my pledge for October to paint up all the ships, all of the um, terrain and all of that stuff for Dreadfleet. So follow along and um, we'll, see, we'll see how we do by the end of the month. So I might do a little bit more and then we'll call it quits for tonight because it's late. Yeah, so th uh, everybody out there be thinking about what you want to do for your own pledge for Spooky Toberfest. And um, who knows, maybe I can convince my lady friend to paint up one or two of the blood letters that she built. What do you think about that? I know you're listening to me. Yeah. Do you want to paint something up for Spooky Toberfest? Sure, why not? Awesome. I'll help you if you need help. I will help. Aww. There you have it, folks. You heard it here first. The lady boss is going to paint up one of the blood letters that she built up. Okay, we'll do a little bit more, then we'll um, we'll get out of here. Silver is lead belcher. So he's got a knife hanging at his waist. The great thing about Rackhearth Flesh is that it's um, when you when you give it some washes or some shades, you'll really be able to give it some good definition. Like right now, we just covered the skin of the arms and the like the bandages or whatever around it. But you know, if you give it a flesh wash, then it'll look like sickly flesh, like the Dark Eldar. If you give it a um, like a dark brown wash or a black wash, then it could look like cloth or bandages, which is what we're going for with the different belts on the arm. I don't know why my voice is so froggy. <clears throat> Did you eat a frog, Master? No, I didn't, Igor. Because when I eat frogs, my voice gets so froggy too. Don't laugh at Igor's accent. My lady friend is laughing at Igor. Ooh, maybe for Spooky Toberfest, somebody suggested that she paint up a female companion for Igor, and I said we should should find like a crypt horror model and um, like green stuff some hair on it and paint it up like Igor and call it Shigor. <laughs> and then she slapped me. I think it's a great idea. Why are you laughing at me? Did you hear that? She said she loved me. She was talking to me, you dummy. And she, I quite clearly heard her say that she loves me. I think you were talking to me, Lewis. <laughs> I'm jealous of all my little friends that you're tearing away from me. You're, you're breaking apart this happy home. Nope. What am I doing? Alright, so um, everybody, you're just taking your lead belcher and painting in the details. Um, and like always, that I, uh, I say this to all new painters out there. 
don't worry if you make mistakes or and just don't take too long with this step because chances are you've got another 19 of these guys to pick. Sorry about that, I said um, don't worry about taking too long, rock hard flesh, because you could drive yourself crazy and never get anywhere if you want to make the base coats perfect. Base coats are never going to be truly perfect. You want them good enough so that you can let the shades or the washes do their magic. Um, back in the old days before shades and washes, it was really, it was really a nightmare trying to get everything the way you wanted it. You had to make your own shades by watering down using um, flow aid on your on your paints and it was just always really messy and sloppy. Today we've got shades and washes and they really do a lot of the work for us. So yeah. We're just painting over anything else now that is still that gray primer color. Using more Fang Brown on the straps for the gas mask here. And... Come back to Balthazar Gold for the trim on the gas mask. tank, I mean. And I think that's pretty good for now. So, <clears throat> so we will let this dry. We'll come back in part two, put some shades and washes and finish this guy off. We'll have a uh, nice shiny new Cultist for Papa Nurgle. You gotta keep it in focus. There's gotta be one more thing we can do. Rock Art Flesh will make this the um, the strap of the necklace. And this will be the last thing we do for today. So everybody be thinking about what you want to do for Spooky Toberfest, and I'll make an actual Spooky Toberfest video soon, and then we'll um, start getting some video responses for that and getting that project underway. Well, we're gonna stop it right there, and right now your model should look like this. Pretty much all the base coats down. Um, one thing I haven't painted is the tube, because that's where we're gonna paint that with Tamiya Clear Green, so we're just gonna leave that in its primer color for now. We'll come back and we'll start doing some uh, washes on this guy. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.